you're plugging in your PS5 or your games console, you plug it in via HDMI, you aren't getting sound. I've had loads of people comment on my video about this and I'm planning to make this question and answer session. I'm also going to give you a demonstration, like actually show you a proper example of how I set it up with a camcorder. But again, you can use your console instead of the camcorder. Hello and welcome. This one, I'm answering questions about getting sound from your HDMI capture card. So people are saying things like, I recorded it and the sound is there when I listen back to the recording, but when I'm recording, I can't hear anything. So that is something you need to look at in terms of headphones and where you're plugging the headphones into. But let me start with the main thing. Let me show you how I set it up in OBS. I use Streamlabs OBS, so it might look slightly different to your screen. However, it's basically recording a session. I'm going to put in the HDMI video feed of the video. Then I'll do a HDMI video feed, well, HDMI audio feed. So it'll be two inputs. And then you can monitor that by setting your computer to either listen to that or not listen to that, which I'll show you. Okay, so looking at my Streamlabs OBS, I click on the little plus cog, which lets me add a new device, video capture device, and I add it. I toggle this little button to add a new device, and I'm going to call this HDMI video, so we can clearly see which one it is. I'll add the source, and you should see my screen come up now. And this is basically my camcorder. I'm just doing a voiceover now, because I couldn't record my screen at the same time. Let's bring that over there, and now let's add in the audio, which will be coming up now plus and then on this I got audio input capture or audio output capture we want to input so select that and then toggle again to add a new one we're going to call it HDMI audio and then now you'll hear me speaking from the camcorder all right so so that's adding that it's set to default but on this option you should see here I have digital audio interface to USB audio because if you remember we're using a HDMI capture card and that is a USB so that's where it's plugged into so right now what you're listening to will be the camera audio via HDMI into the capture card into the computer so that is going to be your games console but that's how to set it up you have two sources one for audio one for video you can even monitor this by doing the cog symbol here and here you'll see it says I called it HDMI audio and at the moment it's set to monitor off if I do it to monitor and I go, it will loop. I've turned that to monitor off because what that basically did was I was listening to what I was saying. So in this scenario, if you were wearing headphones, you could hear what you're saying or hear the gameplay from the game console that you're using. So if that's a PS5, I'd have the HDMI into the USB capture card HDMI to USB USB into my computer add it as a video source and add it as an audio source and you have the two options there turn that cog setting on put your headphones on and you can hear it so let me go to some of these questions I'll put timestamps in the chapters so you can skip to that bit but the questions that I'm having so the next one is things like my capture card uh, exact same one is not showing as an option when I go and select an audio source to import it can you help me so Hayden, if you look at this example, you have to actually create it as an audio source and add it as a new one. And then I'm hoping that will help you sort that out. So I applied the settings as you've shown. I set capture card device to USB. The device got detected. I'm trying to stream from my Android and yet there is no audio. Okay, so I think there's a number of things here that we need to keep in mind. People are using this for different types of things. In my example, I have a dedicated PC tower unit that I'm using. If you're adapting it or if you're using an Android phone or something else which is different to this then a slight different approach will apply because you may be using your type C from your Android phone it could be a well yeah it's going to be a type C isn't it or you're going to be using it via the USB lead plugged in because some people have done various things where they've adapted all sorts of things and then I think each adapter needs to be understood before we can make the final picture of what you're trying to do so please when you comment let me know some more information so let me know what device you're using if you're using a tablet or android if you're using a laptop it's a desktop and um, what are you actually using and how is it plugged up what's the journey of the cabling because with mine it's a straightforward hdmi cable from the camera 
which could be a games console into the HDMI capture card and then into a USB. Some people are doing HDMI to USB to then further USB to type C or additional things that are kind of in that process. So we need to understand each of those. To support this video, I've got a link in the description to my mailing list. Make sure to sign up to that and you'll get an instant email with help sheets, guides and frequently asked questions which will help you get through this journey. If you ask me a comment that I've already answered in the video, I'll direct you to the video to get the answer because there's quite a lot of similar questions I'm getting up. I'm hoping we can help each other to get to the resolution but we need to understand the point and if information's there, help yourself as well because it's all there for you to look at.